Well, in about an hour, children from a neighborhood just off Navco Road will gather for a Halloween yard party that will rival just about any. And while this get together will be a lot of fun, it also represents much more than just a holiday gathering. It represents a woman's commitment to her community. Local 15's Darwin Singleton stopped by her house today. Darwin, she's only been in that neighborhood a short while. That's right, Greg. And when Jennifer Hoffert bought that property a little more than a year ago, she saw it as a good investment, a steal, so to speak. Little did she know it would steal her heart and make her a member of that community. There's something different about the little gray house at the end of the lane. That lane is actually Sainer Avenue off Navco Road. And the owner of that house is this lady. We bought here, we rebuilt here, and we have a love of this place. When she lived in Las Vegas, she was Jennifer Vasquez, the wife of a circus owner. But she lives in Mobile now and about to become Jennifer Hoffert, the wife of a Canadian businessman who is about to become a U.S. citizen. So he too could live here in Mobile with his love, Jennifer. I'm just support. That's no minor accomplishment. Jennifer, retired in her 30s, is anything but idle. She's renovating the modest 1940s cottage into her own special place, her love for roses spilling out into her front lawn. And Jennifer spent a lot of time reaching out to her neighbors. There's something quiet, something easy about this place. But, you know, being from Las Vegas, it's hectic. Every day is run, 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 and it's run, run, and you never know your neighbor. Oh, honey, we know every neighbor from this street to that street to the street over, and we know all of their kin as well. Those neighbors have raised their families here, lived their lives here. Jennifer says that makes these modest homes castles in their own right. And now she's making her own house such a home. Mm. Kisses! Ooh, he loves kisses. Look at you. So tonight, many of those neighbors will join Jennifer for her latest neighborhood get-together. Because there's always something going on at that little gray house at the end of the lane. So, you know, they wave hi and say, hey, how are you doing? They say, we just drive down here just to see what you're doing now. And she does not leave that child up there all year long, by the way. <laughs> Jennifer says she continues to invest in property in the, I don't, she could, in the neighborhood. She's also renovating a pool that the children, not that one in the neighborhood, also enjoy in the summer. But tonight, Greg, it is all about Halloween, obviously. That girl's a little scary. A Keep her out of the pool. <laughs> Thank you, Darwin.